Hey guys, um, <clears throat> I know it's been a while, my apologies. Um, a lot has happened, a lot hasn't happened. And uh, it's not really got to do with the drone that's not happening, it's got to do with my 3D printer. Um, so basically what happened is I upgraded my bed size to a larger volume and my new heated bed seems to be um, pulling too many amps through the MOSFET which has subsequently burnt out the MOSFET. Um, I replaced it, um, tried uh, different tricks to get it going and um, long story, still not working, still burning out. Um, so I'm, I'm busy trying to fix that up, trying to fix it. Um, but there were a couple of parts which has led, which has stalled my progress with the drone. Um, <clears throat> however, I'm going to get to that now. Um, I first want to just thank everybody for subscribing. Um, it's really cool um, having people, you know, wanting to follow or interested in what you're doing, and and hopefully. Um, you guys also want to to do something similar like this. It's 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 really fulfilling. Um, so since my last video, um, my lovely beautiful carbon fiber tubes arrived from China, and <laughs> I wish I could show you them, but they they're just they're impeccable. They're beautiful. Um, I couldn't be happier. Um, however, I'm still using the old aluminium tubes, um, and uh, I'm doing that because I'd rather, if something goes wrong, it happen, damages that rather than my lovely new carbon fiber tubes. As you saw, I was playing with a little drone. Um, I bought this little cheapy at the hobby store and um, it's, it's great fun. You can, I've literally bounced this thing off everything in the house from paintings, glasses, walls, couches. It's, it's incredible. It's so resilient. Um, it comes with a little prop guard. And the reason I'm playing with this is really just to kind of get to grips with um, the basic handling of a drone. Um, this is, is not probably won't be as stable as the um, as my 3D printed Inspire one, but um, it is. It's really it's really neat to just get the hang of it. I mean, for instance, using the throttle control and the um, the rotation is quite challenging. You know, not to to put too much throttle and turn. Um, so that's something I'm busy getting used to. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm actually just going to show you where I am with the drone and what has exactly why I've stalled because of the 3D printer. Um, so I'm going to pull this baby over here. There we go. Now I'm going to lift it up so you guys can get a nice good view of it. There we go. As you can see, she is quite large. Um, I've installed the, the gears so you can see as the arms go up and down the motor mounts rotate um, to keep the propellers level which is, which is quite a really cool mechanism going on there. Um, yeah, um, so uh, basically um, the build was quite, the assembly is quite easy. Um, I'm going to take this apart because there are a lot of things that need to be improved. And that is one of the bigger things that actually needs to happen um, when you get the parts from RC Hobby. You, you realize that a lot of the parts aren't as good as you thought they would be. Um, at, for instance, the back um, frame support was way too thin um, for the, to put a, a metal insert into. So I had to make my own ones, redesign them and, and reprint them. Um, the main body framework, um, you know, RC Hobbies, they don't give you any kind of instructions, um, but for where the, uh, the server goes, for the, for the landing gear to raise the arms and, and to lower them, um, a lot of people have been using this flanged bearing and, um, and the whole size that uh, RC Hobby gives you is in the correct size, so I, that's, that's, that is actually what I'm waiting to print now. Um, and that has really slowed down everything. However, I do have my flange bearing. Um, this is the little mechanism that goes um, inside, inside the frame, and basically what you have is 
Um, these little mechanical end stops that fit right into these slots there, one here and one there. So that when it rises and it reaches its limit, the end stop stops the, the arms from raising and then when it lowers the same happens. And I've ordered them and I've got these little babies here. So those are ready to be put in. Um, I just haven't gone to that yet. Another thing that I found out is that there are so many parts that you actually need to print. Um, and uh, I actually missed, when I was going through my list, I missed print, or I didn't print one of the parts. So I, was, I got to a point where I was really confused as to how this all kind of works. Um, but those were the little arm linkages here, which basically um, connect to this over here. So when it raises, it pushes the arms up, and when it lowers, it pushes the down, arms down. And there's four of these, one there, two there, and another two on the side here. Um, what I, what I also realized was that um, I put, um, when I inserted my arms or my side arms here, the, I didn't realize that there's still some support from the 3D print inside there. Um, and I realized, well, I, I put them in and I, obviously the measurement was off. So when I put these little arm linkages on here, um, it it didn't work as, as I thought it would. So uh, it took me a while to just kind of figure out that that was actually a problem, despite me even like pushing as hard as I could. Um, but it was it was a little piece I was hiding, um, and actually on both of them, and it was on these um, the arm raises on these parts here, um, which are over here. If you can see that there. Um, what I'm doing now is I'm trying to sort out my 3D printer so that I can get that going. Um, and the other thing I'm doing is tomorrow or Thursday, I'm ordering all my stuff for Hobby King. Um, I've decided to go with the NASA V2 with the GPS combo, um, 480kV, 200 motors, um, 30 amp ESC, 30, yeah, 30 amp ESCs and um, a 5200 milliamp 5S um, uh, lithium polymer battery pack. Um, and then I'm also going with the Tyrannus uh, radio control. I've heard a lot of good things about the Tyrannus. It's also open source, so you can kind of chippo it to what you want it to do. Um, and in my case, there are some things that I will not reveal to you yet that I want to do. Um, but once I have this working, there's some cool things I've got in store for that. And I'll certainly do a video on that, uh, or more than certainly do a couple of videos on that. Um, yeah, so and that shipment should take about um, five, three to five business working days. Um, so I would expect to have those parts by next week, Friday latest. Um, and then what I'll do is I'll do a small mini update then as well, just to show you what has arrived and what it all looks like. And then um, subsequently, after I've done the installation of all the parts, I will also show you um i'll also do a video on 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 that so right now um i'm still practicing with my drone to little drone to get it going i'm going to sort out the 3d printer and i will hopefully do another update as soon as possible but like again like uh, well, like i said thank you very much for watching um thank you for subscribing um thanks for the interest again and um, yeah, I look forward to getting this going. It's really, really, really um, exciting project. And um, yeah, as soon as I get the 3D printer going, we're in business.